Hey everyone, in honor of Halloween here in the United States, we're spotlighting an animal that looks like something out of a horror film. Considered by some to be the ugliest animal in the world, the monster goat is considered by others to be a thing of beauty. Don't go away, the Damascus goat breed is coming up next. Hard to find in North America and throughout much of Europe, the Damascus is a unique looking goat breed that traces its origins to the Middle East. Goats were the earliest ruminants domesticated around 7 to 9,000 BC, and while we don't really have a clear picture of how this breed was formed, Damascus goats are of ancient Nubian origin. Not much is written about the Damascus goat's history, but the breed features prominently in Arabic religions, texts, songs, and folklore. It appears to have been a productive milk and meat goat of the region for hundreds of years. Roaming in large flocks across Syria and Lebanon, the British took the goat to Cyprus during the 19th century and commenced a breeding program. It was in Cyprus that the goat came to be called the Damascus goat. The breed is also known by many other names, including the Damasque, Baladi, Shami, Halep, Aleppo, and Shami goats. Damascus goats have as many looks as they do names and they undergo quite a change during their lifetime. Born cute as a button with those long, twisted ears, as they age, they develop a snub nose and an undercut jaw and look very differently from when they were born. Those pendulous ears can hang nearly a foot. The ears are often trimmed for show, as are the horns if present. Damascus goats may be born pole, with no horns, or with long, thick horns that curl back from the head. Bigger than most goat breeds, Damascus goats have long legs, long necks, and long hair. Standing about 30 to 32 inches tall at the withers, those weigh in just under 150 pounds, and bucks at around 200 pounds. Their small head, coupled with a convex bridge and undercut jaw, gives them their unique look. Often referred to as the bulldogs of the goat world, their scrunched up shortened faces are viewed as both hideous and beautiful, depending upon your perspective. Due to crossbreeding, they're available now in many colors. Historically largely red or brown, they may be seen in beige, white, gray, silver white, fawn, and even black. A multi-purpose goat, they're raised for milk, meat, and leather. Primarily known as dairy goats, they can produce as much as one and a half liters of milk each day. And while many dairy goats can achieve better production, they can't do it in the environment in which the Damascus does. Reliable producers of milk in hot, arid climates where rapid, radical weather changes can occur, their milk also has a high amount of fat and protein and is easily digestible. Damascus goat's milk is used also to make yogurt and gourmet cheese. Their long hair coat helps protect them from strong heat and UV rays. They can also survive on very little food, which is why they're a popular option in the Middle East. Often used to crossbreed other goat breeds, the Damascus goat breed is a prolific producer, with triplets and even quadruplets very common during births. Ewes make wonderful mothers to their lambs. Very hardy, they're also docile and easy to handle. They get along well with other animals, but being a larger goat, they need a little more housing space than some of the smaller breeds. The hardest part about this breed is going to be finding them. Throughout much of the world, they can be very hard to find, and they can be expensive, with prices reaching $5,000 per goat. Well, that's the Damascus goat, a unique looking animal with a long but murky history of providing milk, meat, and leather to goat keepers in the Middle East for centuries. Now popular as a show goat in its native region, its looks may not win many ribbons elsewhere. What are your thoughts on this breed? Let us know by dropping a comment below. Also, please take a couple of seconds to click that like button and subscribe to the channel if for some reason you still haven't. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, Keep on happy farming.